Right. Uh, welcome to this Runix Nepal's tutorial session on Cherboard. Uh, in this session, uh, actually, we are going to uh, do some remaining tasks of previous session. Uh, the previous session uh, of this session was running the vertical scripts of a different version of Vibad and Jotboard DMA audio demo. This is the uh, tutorial session in previous uh, session, uh, which was also available at our YouTube channel, at uh, Digitronix Nepal uh, YouTube channel that is uh, youtube.com slash c slash Digitronix Nepal. And in this session, uh, we are going to do some remaining tasks while uh, in our previous session we already have done uh, editing tickle scripts uh, we need to have some edit on tickle scripts for uh, for uh, running that tickle script in different version of vivar uh, then it was uh, created on so uh, another we also have uh, done running the tickle scripts and creating a generating project uh, we already have generated our project so uh, these are the uh, uh, tasks we already have done in so in this session we are going to do some remaining tasks that is uh, uh, we need to export that Vivado project in from Vivado uh, including BD stream and we are going to launch STK on that workspace work after that we are going to import uh, the existing project we already have existing project uh, so we are going to import that project uh, on that SDK's workspace from a different directory so after that we are going to building the project and we are going to launch the project in hardware so last is project in hardware is mm. test of server okay this is the main uh, remaining tax there are four points so we are going to uh, do these tax accordingly so let's start from exporting so uh, this is the uh, block diagram we have generated in previous uh, previous uh, tutorial session that is uh, how to run tickle scripts on vivaro ipi and zero dma audio demo uh, this is the overall block diagram we already have explained about what this block diagram and what the each block or components is working on is doing uh, in this block diagram so we already have uh, exported uh, this uh, project including bt stream so uh, we don't need to export uh, again so uh, you you just need to have uh, export uh, the current uh, project after that you can launch sdk so we also have uh, already opened our sdk uh, after that launching so uh, this will appear in your uh, our uh, PC uh, SDK will appear. So uh, you need to import uh, according to our instructions. Uh, second, so we need to import the existing project. Uh, that is, uh, we already have project at our directory. Uh, that is here. So these are the uh, necessary projects for this uh, tutorial session. So we are going to uh, import that project. So we are going to import. Go to general existing project and workspace and browse it actually that is light um, where um, a little confusing uh, it must be in projects dme just minimize this sdk i think uh, this will be sufficient so it already have extracted the necessary projects for uh, current project uh, tutorial so uh, so uh, we have imported three projects um, from that directory so we are going to do finish then it will uh, There are some errors uh, on our current projects. It's running over sort of design. Okay, that's not a problem. I think so. Okay, let's let's uh, negate these errors. So, mm, so we already face errors uh, in here also. 
we, what we need to do is we are going to first of all program the FPG so we don't have uh, connected it our FPG so we will connect uh, soon uh, we need to program it just program it then after we are going to uh, we are going to launch this project on launch on hardware with GDB so uh, after that uh, it will uh, work on uh, jetboard so first of all I need to fix this error so let's let me give some time uh, okay guys uh, actually it takes some time for me correcting the errors actually some sources uh, like header files uh, on our project has missing so I have uh, include this ps7 cortex a90 uh, file from another uh, test project I just create another test project like this example project uh, where I get the sources then I include the sources on here so that our current project DMA audio can access these sources so our uh, uh, error has been removed so what we are going to do is we already have uh, connected our jetboard okay jetboard on our PC so let's uh, uh, program the jetboard okay uh, just let's program uh, program the FPG so this is design one dot bit file so we are going to upload this sweet file to our FPG so uh, we have some issues on programming the FPG actually uh, my some driver is not working I think so I will upload that, uh, those drivers too so let's let's uh, do again uh, uh, okay uh, let's let's see how the uh, process uh, going on so we have already have uh, uh, operated the program uh, bit stream into our shared board and we have also operated our uh, main uh, SDK project in zero uh, board as we can see here we have uh, program the FPG actually this uh, recording was uh, recorded video was recorded in another computer so we have playing this uh, video and I, I compiled this uh, tutorial so we have also recorded some uh, uh, some video on our smartphone also so we are also going to show you the demonstration so this this is the process for uh, uh, this is the process for uh, programming the uh, FPG then after we can run our project so FPGA configuration has been successfully uploaded in our uh, jetboard so after that uh, we need to have uh, we need to have also have a uh, terminal actually we need to have terminal uh, we can see uh, terminal at uh, this uh, menu so so we can go to others show view and we can see here at terminal uh, we can uh, uh, import the terminal in our uh, this bar so it will uh, give us the your communication status with your board so uh, after this uh, we need to uh, actually we need to run our uh, main project this is the main project so we are going to we are going to run its uh, GDB file so it will run our your board this is the main process for uploading after that we need to have uh, connection uh, with our comport actually our comport uh, is uh, quite different so what we have done is we have also connected our uh, UART cable we will show you uh, in later
actually we have connected now the com port 11 which is uh, from uart cable so Okay, this is the screenshot of what we have connected. This is our uh, headphone, and this is the uh, JTAG programmable port uh, USB, and this is power, and this is UART. Actually, what we get uh, updates in our SDK from uh, Zerboard it uh, from this cable. This is UART. So let's uh, let's see. So. This is our snapshot. So so let's look on our uh, uh, video capture from uh, smartphone which is actually the demonstration of our recording. Uh, so we have connected our button U is for uh, recording and button D is for uh, playing the record so oh, I don't have any speaker connected, uh, connected so what I am going to do is uh, I just uh, I will uh, play the button uh, button U so, so that uh,
so guys uh, uh thank you for watching uh we, we will also upload our uh, uh project folder uh in github repository soon uh, if you want to get uh, our uh, project source like uh, sources of uh, sdk and vivado ipi and tickle source then you can uh, comment in our uh, youtube channel so we can uh, provide you via email so so guys thank you for watching uh, we will show you some other demonstration session soon and thank you